Our Andrew Christensen actually had a chance to talk to several bus drivers who say there's more to the job than just driving the bus. As the song goes, the wheels on the bus go round and round. And for Mark Johnson, who's retired and in training to be a bus driver, it's an opportunity to get to know the kids in the community. Well, I still wanted to do work, and uh, CCISD was hiring for bus drivers right away, and I like being around kids, so I thought it's the best opportunity that's out there. But the job isn't just about driving, things like CPR and first aid training, checking for overhanging trees, and pinpointing inaccurate addresses is also a requirement. And the job also requires bus drivers to scope out the neighborhoods for construction, helping bus drivers come up with alternative routes. Okay. Good morning. You like to have a mask and sanitize your hands. And safety is key during a pandemic in order to keep kids safe. And that's right, CCISD is hiring. The director of transportation saying the pandemic caused a bus driver shortage. Currently, they have 80 bus drivers, but need 40 more. We're interviewing um, as we receive those applications in. Uh, so anyone interested, please uh, apply. We'll be more than happy to, to speak with you and, and look forward to possibly having, having you come on as one of our team members. And Johnson, once he's done training, he'll be assigned a route, becoming a part of the CCISD family. Uh, it's a good place to work for. Uh, my wife spent 32 years here as a teacher and enjoyed her job a lot, so that's why I came over here. The personnel is very good. CCISD doesn't require a CDL license, but does offer training for it. The district is encouraging people to go to CCISD.com and apply under their Human Resources tab. For Chris Sunrise, I'm Andrew Christensen.